Hey guys, it's Sabrina. I hope that everyone is enjoying their weekend and having fun. It is currently raining here and it's not very fun. But I have a few books that I ordered and I would like to show them to you, so let's go. The first one I got is The Fall of Five by Pedicus Floor, and this is the fourth book I want to say in the I Am Number Four series. Um, in that Lauren Legacy series, actually. Um, but the first book is I Am Number Four. Actually, it says I Am Number Four series, so I was right the whole time. Um, love these covers. They're really unique. Um, that's pretty freaking cool. Didn't notice that before. Um, I actually haven't read this series, but my husband has. So I picked this up for him and slash myself because one day I will get to it. Um, but I'm not really going to get that much into it because I don't really even know what these are about and I don't want to spoil it for me or for you or for anyone. So there you go. The next book I have I'm super excited about and I'm sure a lot of people are too. That is Anti-Goddess by Kendar Blake. Nice and shiny. She is the author of Anna Dressed in Blood. Nothing fancy. This is a about like gods, like Greek gods and goddesses. And I know Athena is in here, Hermes is in here, um, Hera, and this is about how things are starting to affect the gods and feathers are sprouting beneath Athena's skin, evading her lungs like a strange cancer. Hermes showed up with a fever, eating away his flesh, etc, etc. So there's things going wrong. They need to find the key to their survival, and that is Cassandra, an ordinary girl who once, who was once an extraordinary prophetess, protected and loved by a god. So they have to find her, and before they die. It sounds pretty epic. I've heard decent things about this, and I'm excited to read it. It doesn't seem like it's too long. Let's see. Yeah, like 330 pages, so I would hope to read this soon. The next book I got is Origin, a Lux novel. This is number four in the series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Now, this looks like a little bit of a cover change here. It's not too drastic, but there's definitely a cover change. Like, for example, here's the first one. Here's the fourth one. This is a cover change. I'll allow it to happen because it's not too dramatic. But even the font is different in the title. Ugh. You know, you win some, you lose some. The next book I'm super pumped about, and that is The Dream Thieves by Maggie Steve Otter. And this is book two in The Raven Cycle. The first book was The Raven Boys. Uh, Maggie Steve Otter wrote the Shiver series, which is technically called The Wolves of Mercy Falls, I believe. And she also wrote... The Scorpio races. Um, but I know that it's about, um, like, psychics, I want to say. I know it definitely has some paranormal elements in it. And I have not read the Raven Boys, but I really wanted to. So now that I have the second book, there's no excuse. It must be read. Right? Right. Next, I have The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. And I'm really excited for this. Um, oh, wait, I didn't show you. I'm a bad booktuber. This is what this looks like. It's got a little bit of engraving on there. Sorry, guys. I got a little distracted. I was a little excited about the next book. Okay, back to this one by Holly Black. And I've heard good things about this, so I'm really excited. This is just pretty plain. Um, but, yeah. It follows the main character, Tana, I want to say. Tana, Tana. Um... She lives in a walled city called Cold, Cold Town. Quarantine monsters and humans mingle. Ugh, that sounds really scary. You can never leave. Um, she wakes up surrounded by corpses. The only other survivor is her ex-boyfriend, infected and on the edge. So she has to deal with those issues, and I think this is pretty cool. I've heard really good things about it. It's a super cool concept, so I'm really excited to read it. And also, it's huge. Like, not, like, thickness-wise, but, like, it's one of those huge books. So it's got to go on my huge shelf. Next book is Frozen. 
This is by Melissa De La Cruz and Michael Johnston. This is a creature born in flame, a heart bound in ice. And I like that there's a dragon there. That really gets my, gets my goat. Um, and I love this cover. It's a really pretty blue. This is just plain. I wanted it to be gorgeous too, but that's okay. That's okay. So I know that this follows like a storyline of a girl in like Las Vegas, but it's called New Vegas. It's now blanketed in ice and the heart of the city is Natasha Castell, a young blackjack dealer looking for a way out. She's heard of a mythical land called the Blue. They say it's a paradise where the sun still shines. So it looks like she's trying to go there. And there's love, there's adventure, you know, the usual. But it sounds cool. I haven't heard too many things about this. So I guess we'll just have to see. If you've read this or heard anything about it, let me know down below. And the last book I got, I'm probably the most excited about, and that is Fangirl by Rainbow Rawl. If you've seen my review of Eleanor and Park, you know that I'm definitely a fan of her writing, and I was so excited to get this. I pre-ordered it, and I got it the day it came out. Um, love the color of this cover. It's like a sea foamy green. Really pretty. It just looks like this underneath. I believe this follows, is it two sisters? I think so. Yeah. So it's two sisters that are like completely obsessed with this guy called Simon Snow. And for Kath, being a fan is her entire life. She's a twin sister, Ren. And she's like, they're both obsessed with him. And the Kath's sister has grown away from the fandom, but Kath just cannot let go. They're going to college. Ren has told her sister that she doesn't even want to be roommates with her. Kath is on her own, out of her own comfort zone. She, she's she got a surly roommate with a charming, always-around boyfriend. So she's just trying to figure out if she can live her life without her sister. And I think that that's totally awesome. I'm excited to read this. Like I said, I loved Eleanor and Park, so... I'm really hoping that I enjoy this as much as I think I'm going to. And those are all the books that I have for you guys right now. I did order more, like I said, and my birthday's coming up in like a week or so, so I will probably be getting some birthday money or birthday gift cards, and I definitely will be buying books with those. Um, but like I said, I have a few more books coming in soon, so when I get those, I will show you guys. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you thought or if any of these books you are wanting to read and looking forward to. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.